here at the lake. It is February 17th, and obviously, as you can see from behind me, like the lake is pretty much 95% frozen over. And um, I'm up here in the Northeast, Massachusetts, and you know we just had a really cold, like big cold front come through. You know, the bay in Providence even froze over. That's how cold it got. It got down like 10 below zero. So you know the lake pretty much froze over completely. And there is a little open water, as you guys can see, but the only reason we had open water is because yesterday, you know, it got up to about 55 degrees and it just downpoured. You know, the lake is about three feet up from its normal level. And, uh, you know, I'm crazy. I don't know why I'm here. You know, I'm, I'm going to try and give it a shot, you know, because it's, you know, it's about 45 degrees out today and really strong sun. You know, I can tell spring is right around the corner and I just had to get out here and uh, try and catch some fish. And I'm going to try something a little bit different on my ultralight tackle setup. And I'm going to be fishing a Salmo chubby darter. And I've never fished with a chubby darter in open water. You know, it's something that I love to, you know, throw down a four or five inch hole and, and, and jig through the ice for bass and pickerel. But I never had that chance to get out on the ice this year. And I think that this bait, this little chubby darter is going to work great. I'm going to fish it like a Binsky or, uh, or like a little rattle trap. And that little chubby darter has a lot slower sinking fall to it. So I definitely think I, uh, I'm going to have some success with it. So let's catch some fish. Let's go. Let that Salmo chubby darter sink all the way down to the bottom. <clears throat> Give your line a lot of slack. Now a Salmo chubby darter is more of a, an ice fishing lure. And uh, today though, I'm actually going to try and fish it while casting it because I think it's going to, you know, have a really nice slow fall and good action to it that a pickerel or a bass that's down there sitting along the bottom won't resist it. Water's a little bit discolored today because of uh, the large amount of, amounts of rain we had. You know, it must have rained uh, yesterday, you know, we got like two, three inches of rain, you know, in a short amount of time, a lot of flooding. And uh, this water that's actually here was down about, you know, two, three feet. So this, this lake went up pretty high. All right, I think my chubby darter's on the bottom. Pick it up off the bottom and just slowly start working it. Rod tip up. I'm basically gonna be just yo-yoing it back towards myself. Picking it up and then letting it flutter back down. I'm predicting that you know, a fish is going to hit it when it's falling on the fall, most likely. I'm trying to get a reaction bite or something. There he is, fish on. First cast of the day. Oh, I only got six pound on. He, he ate that Salmo chubby darter though. Oh. oh. Nice little pickerel. Somehow the pickerel jumped out of the net. Okay. Not a monster pickerel, but uh, decent size. Just on that Salmo chubby darter, first cast. Woo! That water is cold, man. Okay, I'm gonna need to get some kind of hardware to get that out of his mouth. Nice, pretty fish. Leave it. Okay. Just get a nice release on him. Ah, uh, get bigger, buddy. There he goes. Taking off. All right, fishing like two minutes and I caught my first fish already. Woo! Let's catch some more. Right on the edge there. Woo! That was close. If I cast it into that ice, you know, odds are I'm probably not gonna get it back. <laughs> Got a lot of treble hooks on this little chubby dart and I can snag into that ice and I'm not gonna get it. <clears throat> so it's been about, you know, 10, 15 minutes since I had my first bite. Uh, you know, that's that's pretty much like what it is like in winter fishing, you know, very rarely you come out here You get fish after fish unless they're stacked up in a particular area. I have a feeling that they're stacked in this area, but um, You know, I'm not able to cast out as far. So basically I'm just I'm just casting into this one little pocket here 
and I'm kind of just waiting until those fish are going to come up that drop off and swim around in this area. I'm hoping that with this sun shining down into this open little open body of water that the fish will be moving up from that drop off in that basin area and moving into this little pocket here and hopefully it'll isolate those fish and you know eventually I'll be able to bang out a few. But right now it seems like the bite slowed down a little bit. Cast, you know, once that chubby dart is on the bottom, just kind of rip it up from the bottom. Um, you know, I feel, I feel some weeds on there. You got to rip it up to get that weed growth off of it. Then just kind of yo-yo it back along the bottom, up that drop off. I think that was a bite right there. Something, something hit it. Pick it up about two, three feet off the bottom. Let it flutter all the way back down. Come on, fish. I know you're down there. There he is, fish on. Nice pickerel. Second fish of the day. Oh, he's, oh my gosh, he's aggressive. This pickerel's going crazy. Oh, he had a follower too, he had a follower. Oh my gosh, I'm only using six pound test. This isn't that big of a pickerel. A little bit chunkier. Got some uh, nice shoulders on her. A little female, it looks like. She just smashed that chubby darter. Oh, come here. Oh, come here, you pickerel. Oh, woo! Nice, healthy, you know, February pickerel just on that chubby darter. Woo! This is my first time actually using this chubby darter to uh, try and catch fish in the winter time like this, you know, when the water is somewhat open. I, I like to fish with the chubby darter during ice fishing season, but uh, this uh, winter we didn't really have any safe ice to fish, so I figured why not take this little chubby darter and fish it like a rattle trap or like a binsky because this little chubby darter has a lot slower fall than a binsky and a rattle trap. You know, it's really light and it has a really nice little tight wobble when it sinks. And I had a feeling that, the, uh, you know, these pickerel, these pickerel or these fish would love it. Whew, nice pretty fish. There he goes. There he is, fish on. Oh! I knew he would break me off. All right, well, I think I'm gonna call it for a day on that. <laughs> I only brought one chubby darter with me. All right, guys, well, uh, thanks for watching. You know, uh, did pretty, did all right today, you know, for fishing with a lure that I've never fished with in open water, and that was a Salmo chubby darter. And uh, it's probably not gonna be the last time I'm gonna fish with it. You know, the conditions definitely were a little bit tough today. Um, you know, it rained really hard yesterday, and it was about 55 degrees, but prior to that, you know, for a solid, week almost it was about you know negative 10 like zero degrees a high of 15 uh, for the day you know it was really really cold and um, you know this whole entire lake was frozen over and I was lucky that we had that one that one warm day yesterday that pretty much opened up this body of water but um, thanks for watching I gotta head home I gotta head home and uh, do some homework but um, you know check out the description if you want any more information about the tackle what I, what I was using to catch fish you know the setup everything the camera and, um, you know, please give this, this video a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys out on the water. Peace.